Good afternoon, I'm Chef Paul uh, here at the Borshead Resort and today I'm going to be preparing for you uh, pan seared tuna cakes with a garbanzo bean and tomato cucumber salad. Uh, these ingredients can be found in your cupboard. Uh, so I prepared a meal that um, everybody would have and uh, in their cupboard so they can prepare it pretty easily. It's a healthy meal as well and it can be done ahead of time so you can come home and, and enjoy it uh, before or actually before you get ready to sit down to, uh, to eat. Uh, so here I'm going to turn my pan on uh, to a medium heat. So I'll start with a little bit of uh, cooking oil. Here I have a little blended sunflower and olive oil blend. So I'm going to warm that pan up. So we'll get that pan heating up there. Uh, so I'll show you how I made the mixture for the, uh, the tuna cake here. Uh, we're going to start with a little bit of mayonnaise. About two tablespoons worth. Uh, we're going to go in with one whole egg. We're going to go in with a little salt and pepper. Just a little pinch for its seasoning. And then we've got some Old Bay Spice. So why not? The Chesapeake is real close to us here. Enhance that tuna flavor as well. We got some uh, finely chopped onions and celery here. We're going to go in probably about uh, two tablespoons here in that mixture. We've also got some sweet relish. We're going to go in with a tablespoon of that as well. And then we've got our canned tuna. Uh, pretty much I would think that every American um, in the States has some canned tuna, so we're using that today, some albacore, uh, by a nicer quality. So we're going to go in with our tuna. So. We're going to go in with about eight ounces worth here a cup. Bring that in there. And then we also have some uh, panko breadcrumbs. You can use Italian breadcrumb if you want, but we got some panko here unseasoned. I'm going to put some of that in there, about a quarter cup, not too much. You don't want to make it too dense. So what we do from here, real simple, just mix it up, almost like you're making a tuna salad, but We've added egg and the breadcrumb to help bind it. So we're gonna help bring that all together. And you'll wanna let this mixture sit for about 30 to 40 minutes here so it all comes together. The uh, panko breadcrumb swells up with all the, uh, uh, the wet ingredients there so it all holds together. So that's your mixture there. We're going to set that aside. And so now we've got our uh, pan heating up here. And then we've taken our tuna cakes and we formed them. Probably about three ounces worth of tuna per cake. You can go bigger if you like. Uh, but since we're doing a pan sear here, we're making them smaller so you can just cook them in the pan. You don't have to go into the oven. Uh, but if you wanted to make them bigger, um, you would definitely want to go into the oven and make sure they're heated through. So we're going to take two of our tuna cakes here. Put them onto our pan. You should start to hear a sizzle in the pan. You don't want too high of a heat because it'll scorch the tuna uh, before it ever cooks through. So you want to let these go for about four minutes per side, so a total of eight minutes. So while the tuna cakes are cooking, we're going to prepare our, um, our uh, garbanzo bean and cucumber tomato salad here. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I've got some cherry tomatoes just cut in half. You should be able to find these at any grocery store. Got about a half a cucumber here. We've cut into half moons. Just a real simple rustic cut here. Uh, I didn't want to make anything too complicated. Um, so then we have some garbanzo beans, just simply rinsed of the liquid and then strained out. So we're gonna go in with about a quarter cup there. And then just some beautiful fresh basil uh, to give it some nice herbaceousness to it. Um, so what we've done here, this is called a chiffonade cut. It's rolled up into a cigar and then cut into ribbons. And then we uh, just put that in our salad. It makes a nice flavor in there. Just want to keep an eye on our tuna cakes there. Move them around a little bit to make sure they're not sticking. Uh, we're going to go in with some real just simple ingredients here. Uh, we've got some lemon juice. Probably going to go in with about one tablespoon worth. Some nice acidity. And then we've got some of our sunflower olive oil blend again. Uh, about a tablespoon worth there. 
Real simple. Um, and then we're going to season it with some salt and pepper. So from there we'll mix it up. And you can make this a day in advance. It can marinate overnight. So like I said, when you come home for dinner the next evening, um, you could just pan sear your tuna cakes and you got your salad ready to go and you got dinner in about 10 minutes. Really simple and it's healthy too. And good for this time of year as the weather's starting to warm up for us coming up into spring and summer. Um, so that is your beautiful salad there. We're gonna take a look at our, our cakes here. And so we're gonna go in with the spatula. See how they're starting to brown up. We're gonna go and turn them over. So they're gonna get a nice crust on there and they're gonna start to heat up in the middle. So if you wanted to um, eliminate some of the fat here, you could move away from a, a whole fat mayonnaise. You can go into a vegetable or vegan mayonnaise, uh, which they have those products in there. They're pretty nice. It's a pretty nice product to work with. And I don't think you lose any of the flavor here because you got some of the egg going in. Um, so that's going to give it some nice rich flavor there. So we're going to continue to cook these. So about another two minutes and they'll be ready. So for plate presentation, real simple. We're just going to go onto the plate. Give these tuna cakes another minute here and we'll be ready to go. And these tuna cakes, like I said, they can be made ahead of time. Patties are ready to go. All you gotta do is get your saute pan out, heat it up, put the cakes in there, and have your salad ready to go, and you have dinner again in 10 minutes. So super, super quick, easy, and common ingredients you should be able to find at the grocery store, or you might already have them at your home already. So we've got the tuna cakes. They're ready to go. We'll just check the bottoms. Nice and brown, so plate presentation. We'll just put them in the center of the salad here. want to garnish it a little bit there's basil and then a little bit more oil if you'd like to just to finish it off there you have it pan seared tuna cakes with garbanzo bean and cucumber and tomato salad at the Boar's Head Resort